A flash floods can be life threatening. That flash flood warning this morning set off a loud alert on mobile devices, waking many people up. Meteorologist Rob Leidig joins us now with a look at these potentially life saving alerts and how to make sure you're getting them. Well, Heather, most newer phones and mobile devices are wireless emergency alerts, or WIA, capable. They come automatically programmed to alert you for extreme weather warnings wherever you are, amber alerts, local evacuation emergencies, or even presidential alerts during a national crisis. To double check and see if your phone is set up to receive the alerts, here's an iPhone 5. Go into Settings, Notification Center, and scroll all the way down to the bottom to make sure the alerts are switched to the on position. This will vary by device. You will have to turn, you will have the power to turn these off, but meteorologists at the National Weather Service don't recommend doing this. I, th I think this is a feature that uh, is very good for people to have. Um, there's no cost to the consumer as far as a text message. Um, it's free. And I think, it, you know, as a public um, safety issue, um, this is something I think is good. Um, hopefully it, it can be expanded to more models of phones uh, amongst the different carriers and uh, make this available really to everybody. Now think of it this way. It's a lot easier to hear a tone, read that text, and make sure your family is safe than to receive no warning at all. Government partners have agreed to only send these out when absolutely necessary. For more information on carriers and the alerts, head on over to Wayne.com. For now, back to you.